What's up guys, welcome back to the final video of this tutorial series. In this one we'll create an animated lock screen and a transition from the lock screen to the home screen. We will also work with sprite animations and on-touch animations to finalize the design and give it a true premium feel. Let's begin with the lock screen transition. The main layer on the lock screen is the snow globe. Right now it is visible and we don't want it to be visible on the home screen, so set the alpha to zero. In order to make it visible on the lock screen, we will add an effect that only activates while the device is locked. Until now, we have only used effects that were activated all the time. By using activation conditions, you can create effects that are only activated some of the time. There are a lot of activation conditions to choose from. For now, pick while device locked. I'll call this effect while locked in order to easier identify it later. Any effect that I add to my new modifier will only be active while the device is locked. Let's add a simple effect that makes the layer opaque now. As you can see, the layer isn't visible. This is because we are still on the home screen, so the effect isn't activated. Click the device locked checkbox to enter the lock screen. Now the image is visible. If we unlock the device, the image disappears again. Here we have the base for our unlock animation. We want to make the snow globe grow and fade out when you unlock the device, as opposed to just blinking on and off like it does now. To accomplish this, we will add another modifier. In the activation conditions, I will add a start on device unlocked. I will also add a stop on device locked. Any effects I add into this group can be used for my unlock animation. To begin with, I'll add a fade out. Now, if I just use based on time like we have before, this effect will loop from opaque to transparent. However, this is where the option time since start comes in. Time since start measures the time since this effect was activated. In our case, the activation condition is when you unlock the device. So if I now lock and unlock the device, you will see that the effect plays. Once the effect reaches its end, it stops, as opposed to time effects, which loop forever. To create the illusion of us flying into the snow globe, we need to add a short delay to the fade out. To achieve this, I'll simply move the initial point to the middle of the effect. Now, the animation is delayed by half a second. Let's also add an effect that targets scale. This will give us the zooming in effect that we want. Now the globe grows and fades out. However, it doesn't grow the way we want it to. This is because it grows from the center of the image and the globe is below the center. Visually, this results in the globe moving downwards. To compensate for this, we will add an effect that targets the Y coordinate and moves the globe up. There we go, the globe now animates correctly. This is the final look of the lock screen. There are four layers that pulls in and out, auroras on the top of the screen and stars in the background. At the bottom there is a fog layer that slowly rotates. This blends together nicely with the globe layer. Also we have two layers of snow behind the globe that rotate in opposite directions. This makes it look like the snow globe was recently shaken. Most of these layers also have a fade out effect on unlock. To finish up the lock screen effect, we will also need to make the world shrink whenever the device is locked. Go back to our night houses layer and add a new modifier with the activation condition while locked. In it, we will add two effects. The scale makes it smaller and the Y effect moves it slightly downward so that you can see it through the snow globe. We now have the locked and unlocked state correctly positioned. Let's also add a modifier that animates between the two states. By creating similar effects for the rest of the layers in the home screen, we will achieve this awesome looking unlock animation. Let's add some flying reindeer.
To animate the reindeer, we will need to add an effect that targets the source image of the layer. When you open the effect editor for source attributes, you will get a different window than you did before. This is a simple frame editor. You add frames and they get evenly distributed across the effect duration. Let's add some frames to our animation now. Like other effects, source effects can be based on multiple different sources. In this case, we want the animation to loop, so we'll make it based on time, and we'll set the duration to 0.55. Press OK and you see that the reindeers have started moving. Let's also add some effects that move the reindeer from right to left. The reindeer now fly across the screen every now and then. The final step in our wallpaper is to add touch-based effects. Touch can be used as an activation condition, just like the locked or unlocked state of the device. To try it out, let's make the house clickable and dim out the windows when they are clicked. We'll move our dimmed out windows on top of the existing house. Now let's make it invisible by default and make it fade in when you click it. Add a modifier with the activation condition on starting touch. Then click the tag icon and write in a tag for our effect. Tags are used to tie multiple effects and layers together. I'll call my tag house. Add an effect to the new modifier that makes the layer fade in and out. The touch doesn't work because the tag house hasn't been tied to a layer yet. Click the tag icon in our windows layer and choose the tag house. Now we can click the windows and the lights will turn off. We also created an untouch effect for the reindeers. When you click them, gifts get thrown out. Thank you for following along in this live wallpaper tutorial series. We hope you learned something new about Theme Creator and are excited to start designing your own live wallpaper. In the description you can find links to all parts of this tutorial as well as links to download Theme Creator and download the theme we've created together in these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you soon in the next Theme Creator tutorial.